The best laptops for video editing are crucial if you are trying to get any creative work or screen recording done on the road. You can't just get the priciest or most kitted out machine for your editing needs. You will, of course, need a powerful machine with a quality graphics card and speedy memory. But you also need a top-notch display with excellent color accuracy and a high enough resolution for your work. The laptop also needs to be compatible with whatever apps you are using, from video editors, video converter software, to DVD burning software you use. Since there are so many choices out there, we have put this list together to help you find something that will best fit your needs. But before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. MacBook Air is the most affordable laptop with the longest battery life, ideal for students and creative for the road. MacBook Air is a series of laptops once available as an 11-inch model, however, now only offered as a 13-inch. The MacBook Air has the longest tested battery life as much as 14 hours and is also the cheapest MacBook laptop in the price range. Also, the MacBook Air comes with standard USB ports, as well as an SD card slot making it very easy to transfer photos. This model, unlike the MacBook Pro, has a standard keyboard that makes it much more useful to some users. As the name itself suggests, this model is quite light, 1.35 kilograms, with a 13-inch screen and comes with two configurations, but only in silver and with 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you are programming, gaming, or doing any kind of video animation, this laptop may not be the ideal solution for you due to its lack of juice. However, if you are going to be using this for lightweight editing purposes, as well as the usual admin work required to grow your business, and you need an easy-to-use laptop, this option is ideal and perhaps the cheapest for you. If you are working between both home and another workspace, or doing a large amount of editing work whilst traveling, you could really benefit from the fast and functional 13-inch MacBook Pro laptop. The 13-inch MacBook Pro possesses a significantly stronger Core i5 processor and the latest Intel Iris graphics card, and still only weighs a slight 1.35 kilograms. This model has a high-quality display and powerful speakers, as well as two Thunderbolt 3 inputs for the fastest possible data transfer. You also have the ability to expand with additional graphics cards or specialized hardware, as well as a new version of the butterfly keyboard. If you decide to purchase a MacBook Pro, it is important to point out that there are more options, with or without a new touch bar, affecting the price. The 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar provides all the contextually relevant keys and controls that you use in an average application. For example, if you open the Photos app, you will see options for editing photos, shortcuts in Final Cut, and Adobe Photoshop, making it ideal for multitasking. Also, this version of the laptop offers two more Thunderbolt inputs, as well as a faster 3.1 GHz processor. As well as a powerful solution for video editing, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is strong enough in design to handle most modern games with the Intel HD Graphics 640. If you desire the highest level of quality, the 13-inch MacBook Pro may be your ideal solution. Acer is well known for making gaming laptops, but with the Concept D7, it's used its experience of building thin, light, and powerful computers to build a fantastic laptop for photo editing. This is a laptop packed to the brim with powerful components which can easily run even the most demanding photo editing tools. And it's also got a gorgeous 4K IPS display that is Pantone validated. This means straight out of the box. This screen will show your photos as they are meant to be seen with little to no need to calibrate it yourself. The Acer Concept D7 model comes with 32GB of RAM, an Intel Core i7-9750H 6-core processor, and NVIDIA RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics card, along with a 1TB SSD. These are some very impressive specifications, so it's no surprise that it performs brilliantly in day-to-day -day tasks. The body is smart and professional, and it packs plenty of ports as well, so you can plug in your peripherals with ease. It's also easily portable, so you can carry it around with you if you spend a lot of time traveling and photo editing on the road. As is so often the case with powerful laptops, the battery life of the Concept D7 isn't great. It lasts 5 hours and 59 minutes while running a looped 1080p video. That is not offensively low and will last you a whole workday at least, but remember that playing a video isn't particularly taxing. If you perform more intensive tasks, such as rendering 3D graphics, then the battery is going to drain a lot faster. So all that said, it is expensive, but the level of performance this laptop offers means it's well worth the high price tag. The Surface Book 3 is proof of how far laptops have truly come over the last few years. Its predecessor, the Surface Book 2, was not only a strong contender to the MacBook Pro, but also practically unrivaled in its elegance and quality. The laptop market has changed since then, with quite a number of premium machines with impressive components and cutting-edge features vying for attention. However, the Surface Book line has managed to stay competitive thanks to the Book 3. 
Although it has massive shoes to fill and a lot of ground to cover, it's managed to pack in the kind of generational upgrades and specs to put it on par with its contemporary competitors. Couple that with its portability, a stunning display, and a keyboard that easily puts even Apple's new Magic Keyboard to shame, and the Surface Book 3 is nearly there. However, in this day and age, many premium portables could easily leave it in the dust when it comes to specs and price. Unfortunately, much like the Surface Pro tablet, it doesn't quite meet expectations. At $2,799, the Surface Book 3 is fitted with a U-Series Ice Lake Core i7 processor, 32GB of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. That kind of pales in comparison to the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which you can get at the same price point with comparable specs, but with a full-fat H-Series Intel Coffee Lake refresh processor. That gets you two more processor cores, along with higher clock speeds. This makes the MacBook Pro the better choice when it comes to creative workloads. That makes the Surface Book 3 a bit hard to recommend, especially to creators who require a powerful machine. Hopefully, the newly announced Surface Laptop Studio, which follows directly in the footsteps of the book line, will give consumers a much better valued prospect. The Dell XPS lineup has always been there to take on the MacBook Pro, providing excellent performance in a portable chassis, at least the 15 and 13 inch variations. The Dell XPS 17, however, due to its larger size, is all about providing top-notch performance and an excellent display for folks that need something a bit beefier to get through their work, and the newest Dell XPS 17 certainly delivers. The model reviewed here is absolutely packed with the most powerful hardware you can find in a laptop right now. We are talking an 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor, 32GB of RAM, and a discrete NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 GPU. Perhaps most importantly, the screen supports 100% Adobe RGB and 94% DCI-P3 color gamuts, which means this offers accurate colors as well, and that makes it an excellent choice for professional photographers who want to edit their photos in the best possible conditions. This is a laptop that, despite its thin 0.77-inch thick chassis, can absolutely power you through whatever creative workload you have on the go. Though, to be fair, you are going to have to pay to handle this kind of power. The Dell XPS 17 is for the creative professional on the go that wants an extremely powerful and versatile PC, but one that's stylish and won't look out of place in an office. However, its thinness does end up being kind of its bane in that regard, as the port selection isn't quite what you may want to see. So guys, if you are in the market for an editing laptop, we hope these recommendations have brought you closer to finding your ideal device. Let us know your favorites in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching.